Hey everyone, we are back in the studio today. I haven't filmed in here in quite a while. I've been doing some natural light makeup videos. Hopefully you were liking that lighting a little bit better to show off makeup. I have a ton of new makeup and skincare here that I wanted to do a little unboxing video and do speed reviews of the things that I've tried. I'm gonna give you like a really quick just review to let you know if they're good or not. Lots of fun stuff here, so let's just get right into it. I have a lot of new stuff here from 100% Pure, both makeup and skincare items, but let's start with the makeup. So first we have their Fruit Pigmented Blush Powder. This is one that I've already tried. If you've never seen their packaging, it is really pretty. Comes in these metal containers that are a twist off, and this is the blush shade Chiffon, which is very gorgeous, right up my alley. I thought this might be too bright when I first got it, but it is a gorgeously like smooth, it does have a sheen to it, but it's not shimmery. It's so gorgeous on, it's a very pretty like cool pink, but it's not too cool toned. Super versatile and this is one that I've been really enjoying. Their powders are very smooth and blendable and even though they do have quite a lot of pigment to them, they just sort of like melt into the skin and they don't sort of just like stick in one place. So this is a really beautiful blush that I've been enjoying. I also have their Cocoa Pigmented Bronzer here. This is the shade Cocoa Kissed. Again, also comes in like the really cute shiny metal tin. This one's like a dark purple though. So this bronzer, when I first saw it, bronzer shades are really hard for me to just get right. Sometimes they're too warm. And I was worried this might be a little bit too warm, but it is the bronzer I have on today. And it actually looks very pretty and natural. Again, it's that very smooth powder formula. This also has a sheen to it, so it's not completely matte. Look at that pigment. It is super smooth. It is more of this yellow tone, which I find very flattering on my skin. Instead of it being orange, it's more of that like yellowy neutral bronze. And like I mentioned, like it just looks very natural on my skin. I've been very impressed with these two. So gorgeous. If you wanted like a really nice bronzer, I think this is a good choice if you have skin tone similar to mine. This has cocoa powder in it, which is interesting because my other favorite bronzer, the Pure Bronzer, is also cocoa powder based. Something about cocoa powder on my skin, it just works. It's super cool. We also have their Cocoa Butter Matte Lipstick. This is almost an optical illusion because look at the size of this box, but there is a full size lipstick in here. So this is the shade Wine Cup. I guess it's like a little bit smaller than average, but like it just seemed weird. I don't know. I thought that was funny. Packaging again, very pretty metal packaging. It has like this botanical print on it. This I have not tried yet, but this shade looks perfect for me. Their makeup is so pigmented. Like I had no idea 100% pure brought it like this. I feel like I could almost wear this today. Let's try a little bit on. Oh my God, it smells so good too. I love that shade. It is such a pretty cool tone berry. Definitely flattering on my skin. This next product is something I haven't tried yet. If you would like 100% pure full face of makeup, let me know and maybe I'll try out some of these other products in that video. But this is the Maracuja Oil Mascara. All their packaging is paper, by the way, so it is recyclable. And let's open this up. So this packaging is also really cool. It is a, let's see what this looks like. Ooh, that's actually a really nice brush. It is a plastic bristle brush, but it's like almost shaped like a natural hair. I'm really interested to try this. If you tried this, let me know in the comments below. Do you like it? 100% Pure did give me these items, by the way. Whoever from their team picked out these shades did such a good job. Uh, and then we also have something I haven't tried yet. This is the Creamy Long Last Liner. This is the blackish shade. I wonder if this is like smudgeable. Nice and pigmented. It's a classic like wooden liner. Okay, it smudged out really nicely. This might be like beautiful on the lash line, like smudged out with a little brush like this. Then we have another lip product. This is the last makeup product from them. The Lip Caramel Fruit Pigmented Lip Gloss. I don't think I've ever heard of this. This is really pretty. Nice like vanilla-y scent. Like a teardrop shaped wand. Oh my God. These products are so pigmented. That's basically like a liquid lip level pigmentation. Might be a little bit warm on me, but I could probably combine it like with this lipstick. Looks super nice and glossy. Moving on to their skincare line. Really excited. They sent me their rose water line and I have been enjoying it so much. So the only product that I haven't tried from the rose water line yet is this rose water gel cleanser. This 
It says it's a deeply hydrating face cleanser with rose hydrosol, white tea, and calming florals. This is what it looks like. They have really cute like skincare packaging. Rose skincare I feel like is so great for sensitive skin, which my skin is right now. And the other products I've been trying have been so nice. So I'm really interested to try this out. Seems really nice and gentle, which is just definitely what I need. Gluten free, vegan, it has that rose hydrosol. Sounds really beautiful. Then we also have their rose water mist here, which I did try a couple times. So I believe, yeah, this is also, it's aloe leaf juice, rose hydrosol, calendula, white tea, super calming ingredients. I actually used this a couple times on a cotton round as a toner in the morning because sometimes just washing my face in the morning makes it too dry. So something like this is such a good alternative because it's super calming, but it does actually like give you a nice, gentle cleanse it smells like roses this whole line does which i love and then i think my two favorites are these serum type products this is the rose hyaluronic acid serum you can tell i've already used quite a lot of it this is a gorgeous hyaluronic serum again it's been super calming and gentle on my skin if you have sensitive skin like me it has that aloe leaf juice, rose hydrosol, calendula, sodium PCE, rose flower oil. I mean, amazing ingredients for sensitive skin. And this one absorbs really nicely, especially after like the rose water mist. And then this was also a very interesting product that I tried, the rose water hydrating milk. This is like a slightly thicker serum. I've been using this I mean, you could sort of use it as a moisturizer. It I've been using it in the last step of my serum, so the last serum that I use, but I do layer it with another moisturizer. It does give a good amount of moisture on its own, but I do like layering it with my skin being like extra dry right now. These two together have been beautiful. Okay, and the last line from 100% Pure I have here is their Cocoa line. I have the Cocoa Cream Cleanser. This is one I have yet to try, but also very simple ingredients, great for sensitive skin. So this says it's a rich and creamy cleanser that softens skin and lifts away and lifts away impurities. I would probably use this like a makeup remover and then go in with the gel cleanser as like a double cleanse situation. Then we also have these two, two products, the Cocoa Butter Moisture Mask. This sounds so good, I've been wanting to try it. Seems super simple. Oh my God, it smells like chocolate. That smells so good. I feel like you could probably eat this and it would be fine. It's like, that's the level of clean ingredients. Oh my God, I need to try this ASAP. And then we also have their Cocoa Bean Facial Scrub. I usually don't use any physical exfoliation on my face because something about my skin is so sensitive, it like reacts poorly to it, but I will definitely use this on like my chest and body. It sounds really nice. And then lastly, this is also something I'll be using on my body, the Cocoa Coffee Body Scrub. I have to smell this. Okay, I got a little messy, I had to wash my hands. But by the way, look, that is the lipstick and the eyeliner on my hands that's a really good test of longevity this it looks kind of like crazy but it's like this dark cocoa bean scrub it smells really good coffee chocolate like all the best things in the world basically and makeup and skincare so that was all from 100 percent pure definitely let me know if you want any further reviews or full face of their makeup because i'm really interested in trying more from them for sure let's move on i do have some stuff from rms beauty so i picked out a couple things from their website first being the re-evolve radiance blocking primer it looks just like their foundation i am not a huge primer person and this is quickly become my favorite primer it is like Juicy and hydrating. I'll try to show you the texture the best I can. It has a light pink color, but it doesn't really like translate onto the face. But this, especially with my skin being dry, it like really hydrates and plumps your skin and it has a tackiness to it, but it's not super sticky like the e.l.f. Hydro Grip. I really don't like super sticky, grippy primers like that, but this one is tacky enough to really hold on to your makeup and i do notice a big difference when i use this versus when i don't with my foundations it keeps oil at bay it keeps my skin looking like very plump and healthy throughout the whole day so i was very pleasantly surprised that i actually found like a primer i'm really enjoying at least with water-based foundations it works beautifully so this has been like a really fun new discovery and then i also had to pick out one of their hydra blushes the Red redimension hydra powder blush this is the shade french rose these are so pretty i have this on today i put a ton on you see that glow on my cheek 
that is literally just from this blush i love like a shimmery blush but not shimmery in like a glittery way like it just has this baked formula that you can sheer out it is a very bright cool pink they have lots of other shades but this one is it is so so pretty one of my favorite blushes i've tried recently it's also refillable you can like pop this out and just get a new one so this has been a just heavy go-to in my makeup rotation mini review this is a really great blush i also have their uncover up here in the lightest shade triple zero i think they expanded their shade range a little bit I have not tried this out yet. So this is just like their classic concealer. The shade is really nice. It takes like a nice fair olive shade. I kind of want to try their foundation again. I know that I reviewed it and said I liked it, but then I didn't like it. I don't know. I'm like curious to experiment with it again, maybe with like that primer, but you'll see. And I also have two shades of their eye lights here. These are very pretty cream eyeshadows so i have the shade blaze here which i did in my initial review of these i use this shade i also have this new shade which is strobe i have this on my eyes today this is the most gorgeous like minky taupe this would look so great on so many different people and these just give you the prettiest like natural shimmery look they do dry a little bit quickly but once they do dry down they have a really good amount of wear time and i have just been obsessed with this shade on my lids I've really been into cool tones, I know. I've done a total 360, but I feel like now that I know the type of like cool tones and shades I like, there's no going back. I love like neutral cool tones all day. I have two new setting sprays I wanted to talk about. First, this is one from Axe Beauty, which looks very interesting in the bottle. It's sort of like this bi-phase type of mist. Then you shake it up and it turns light purple. This is a very thick setting mist. You can kind of tell in the bottle it reminds me a lot of the Euphoria setting mist. It's a very moisturizing. If you have oily skin, I don't think you would like this, but if you want something very moisturizing and to like literally melt in all of your makeup, I think this one is nice. It can be just a little bit too like dewy for me. Like it kind of can sit on the skin, but I do blend it in with a sponge. I think this is really nice actually under makeup as well. So if you have dry skin, I think this is a good one, but if you're looking for like uh, setting mist that extends the longevity. I don't feel like this is necessarily for that it sort of has different uses But if you do want one that makes your makeup last longer this from Thrive Cosmetics the instant makeup fix set and refresh spray Again, I'm not a big setting spray person But this one it does make a big difference in how long my makeup lasts this and the RMS primer have been like a big step up to my foundation routine lately. This isn't super drying. It does melt in powder, but it also makes your makeup last longer. I do feel like I get a little bit less oily with this as well. So this has been a good hit. It says a 16 hour crease-free technology. I don't know if like 16 hour necessarily, but it definitely does help uh, extend the wear of my makeup. Next up, a couple of things from Use Beauty. They sent over their Phyto Pigments Flawless Serum Foundation. I tried this a long, long time ago and I don't remember quite what I thought about it. I think I remember it not wearing the best, but it looking really pretty at first. So I'm just very curious to try this again. Now that my skin's a little bit drier, maybe it'll last longer, but this is like, you know, I'm interested in retrying it. I like retrying things. And then um, we also have this. I had another shade of this. It's literally my favorite. I don't know where it is at the moment. I did post something on Instagram Reels about it. It was the prettiest shade. I will link to that. But these are the Juice Beauty Liquid Lips. This is not a traditional liquid lip at all. It is very moisturizing, but it does have a lot of pigment. It's more of like a glossy liquid lip. And I had this like purple mauve shade that looked so pretty. These make your lips look so juicy and plump. So formula wise, these are really, really great. Become one of my favorites. I will have to link to that Instagram reel so you can see the shade, but these are gorgeous. And then they also sent some of their skincare, the green apple line. They sent the cleanser, which I'm currently using and liking, but that is in my upstairs bathroom. They also sent the green apple age defy serum, is another nice really like moisturizing or hydrating like bouncy serum makes your skin super plump feeling it's all smell really nice and citrusy as well they also have the green apple age defy moisturizer which i believe i have tried which i believe i have tried before 
it's one of those like lighter consistencies that still gives you a lot of moisture to your skin so it's beautiful on your makeup and then i just threw in this random flower beauty product that i got from ulta but i really wanted to talk about so this is the flower beauty perfect pout these are the moisturizing lipsticks which i believe are a new formula to them you know that i really like flower beauty's lipsticks in general so i had to try this more moisturizing formula out this is the shade blush rose Yes, it is so pretty. I had this on when we first started the video before I put on the 100% pure lipstick. Do a little bit more. They're so moisturizing. The shade is gorgeous. These honestly remind me of the Posh Beauty lipsticks. They're super shiny and beautiful and moisturizing, like very, very similar to that formula. And actually the pout shade, I believe from Victoria Beckham, the pout's a little bit darker and this one's like, you can sheer it out or build it up but these have been great on dry lips and it's just nice to have like a more moisturizing formula on hand. My only beef with this is the bottom part is super tiny. So it's like pretty hard to actually get the cap off and it just feels cheap. I wish it was just like their original packaging where it's like, you know, you have more to grab onto. I feel like this is more of a downgrade, but whatever. Okay, lastly, we have a bunch of stuff here from Clover. So Clover and Hollow did shut down their makeup brand, but they still have their brand Clover, which is actually a more affordable brand. I believe they sell this at Rite Aid. I'm actually really intrigued to try this. Let me know if you want a full face of their products. So they have the Skin Is In Serum Foundation, two shades here. This is the number one shade, which in the tube it looks dark, but this is actually too light on me, which I'm surprised by. And then we have number two. So it seems like they have a good light shade range. And I have been trying this formula out a little bit. It's been very pretty. It doesn't wear the absolute best, but it's a really decent foundation. Love to sort of talk about it more and try it more in a dedicated video. And then they also sent over their concealers, which I haven't gotten a chance to try yet. The Camo Cover Concealers, again, in the shade one and two. The shades are gonna be really great for highlighting. These seem like they're a bit thicker. I'm really interested like what the coverage level's like. And then we also have two sticks from them. These are their Plush Pigment Stick Eyeshadow. Oh, this is actually a mascara. So this is, I really love the color, this like periwinkle color. Oh my gosh, that is a big fat brush, but it's a synthetic brush. It looks like something I would like. Super curious about this. And then we also have the pigment stick that I mentioned. This one is the shade Showstopper, which is kind of like your run of the mill bronze shade. It's a little bit sheer and balmy. Seems like it would be nice for like an everyday makeup look. And then we also have this pressed silk blushing balm in the shade Heartthrob made in the USA. That is super pretty. Seems very, very dewy. And again, like more on the sheer side. And again, more on the sheer side. Its brand seems to be more targeted towards like natural makeup. That is very gorgeous. We also have something I'm really interested in this, the all lined up eyeliner. I haven't tried a gel liner in forever. I wonder if this would like dry up quickly. It's small enough pot, it shouldn't. I just haven't used a gel liner in forever, so I'm interested to like play around with this. And then lastly, we have a glow stick illuminator in the shade Clio. It looks very pretty. Again, more sheer, but very glowy. Looks super natural. It doesn't seem to be pulling too dark on my skin either, which is good. So that was my little bag of Clover makeup. So that was everything that I wanted to run through. I hope you found these like mini speed reviews helpful and it's just fun to sit down and unbox some new products with me. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up, it really helps me out. Channel reviews have not been doing so great lately so I definitely appreciate all of your support and all of you who stick around and watch my videos. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.